Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a drop down menu on your PDFs using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. All right, so before I get started, I have a whole bunch of free Adobe Acrobat Pro tutorials for you guys. So after this one, you guys can check out all of those down in the description below. All right, so I'm here on a test PDF right now. This is just one of our gear guides here that we have. And you see this right here? This is the drop down menu that I'm going to show you guys how to create. So obviously, you know, this isn't an actual place where it goes. This is just a test. And then you can choose test one, test two, or test three, or whatever choices you want. So let me show you how to do this. All right, so you need to open your PDF and make sure that it is in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. A lot of people open it in the free version of Adobe Acrobat, but you won't have all these options here. Next, you wanna head over to the right-hand side and you wanna make sure that you're in the prepare form. If you are not, click on the wrench and the plus icon here, and you'll see all these choices here. Click on prepare form, what that's going to allow you to do is allow you to add a whole bunch of different things, including the drop down menu. You see, I'm on the prepare form. And from here, you want to go to this option, which is the drop down list option. When you click on it, it's going to do something like this. And this is where you need to decide where you want to place it. So let's just pretend like I'm putting it over here. And then you can just stretch it out however long or wide you want it and I'll do something like this. From here, you can change the field name, and I would recommend adding a field name if you have many dropdowns. For example, here it says cameras. Let's just put cameras because let's just pretend like I'm putting the dropdown over here. Once you put in the field name, you can head over to all properties. Now you can also check this, required field if you require the person filling out the PDF to fill out that question, then you can check that. Now we're going to head over to all properties where you're going to customize the drop down menu. So here you can alter the name again and where you add the drop down choices is in options. So here, like I did there, I just did test one, then you click add. These are the choices you want people to choose. And test two, click add. Test three, click add. And then I also like to add this last one where it shows in text form that the person needs to choose one. So I put the words choose one because as you can see here, the last one I entered is test three. So, but if I add this, it's gonna say choose one and it's gonna initiate to the person filling out the PDF form that they need to choose one. Now you can rearrange these if you need to. So for example, if you wanted to move test three up one, it's now gonna be over there. If you wanted to move it back down, click down but whatever you put in last that's going to be the latest choice another thing that you can do is head over to the appearance tab and you can change the size of the font and change the font itself you can also change the text color as well when you're good with the choices that you've inputted for your drop down menu click close and then click preview and you'll see this is the one that we just did and it says the choose one text and then they click on it and then they can go like this and choose whichever one they want. And to go back, we just click edit. And if you want to change something again, just double click on it and it's going to bring up the properties for the drop down menu. If you guys need help designing PDFs, my business partner, Arit, is a graphic designer and she has designed hundreds of PDFs. You guys can find her information down in the description below. And like I said, I have a whole bunch more free tutorials for you guys. Make sure to check them out. If I was able to help you out, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.